Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Google Chrome Scraper plugin tutorial. So in the first part of this tutorial, which was on the blog, we kind of talked about the basic things that you can do with the plugin and even goes on to talk about some of the basic things with XPath as well. So in the second part of this tutorial, which is this video, we'll be talking about some of the more advanced things that you can do with this plugin. So for this, I expect you just to have some basic understanding of XPath and HTML. And so let's go ahead and see how to use this. So in this example, we'll be looking at scraping some content from BuzzSumo, which is a great tool to like, you know, gather data on things and do research. So basically in this tool, we've got two areas, the top content and influences. And in this example, we'll be looking at gathering some data about certain influences from some specific niche that we want to look at. So in this case, let's look at SEO and see who are the influencers in here. So I've hit my daily limit. So let's log in and there you go so this is actually the content field so if you jump into influences let's see what we got yep so it's given us a list of influences and you know if you want to reach out about something to these guys like you might need a handy list so they give us a few options like, you know, they give us their name that they've provided on their Twitter account, the Twitter handle, and the website that they've provided. So if we can gather all this data into something like a spreadsheet, like it's much easier to work with that. So let's see how to do that. So first up, you need to have the Scrape Similar plugin installed. And let's just try to scrape the name. And now you get the console in here, which kind of, you know, scrapes all that name. But we want more than just that name. So, like, we want the Twitter handle and the website as well. So, this particular bit here, which is a selector, kind of gives you this. And you have the columns field where you can add additional fields using this plus button here. And if you want to delete fields, you just use the red button here. So... Let's see how to, you know, grab the other details that we want from this uh, page. So first up, we need to add a new field. So we've got that field in there now. And we need to select this block of text or this particular element of this HTML from where we need to scrape that data. So let's go in and see how to do that. So. Chrome has this feature called inspect element. So if you click on that, so right click and inspect element, you can actually see, you know, so this table row bit here kind of highlights the entire portion. So we can scrape data from there. Or if you want to work with something much more limited, you can do that as well. So something like that. So that is the image bit. And so this table data here looks like, you know, it has all the information that we want. So let's go in and see what it is. So it's got like the Twitter field. And it's got the website field as well. So let's, so this particular div here has everything that we want. So, and that has got a class of, class name of role influence hyphen main data. So we grab that and if you remember from the previous example, like we can write an export query asking them to get a specific div with a specific name. So we jump in, search all document, and we want to look for a div. And this particular div has a class name, so we can specify that. And we put in the name of the class. And then we just hit on scrape and it will pull all the data in. So now we've got like, you know, the Twitter field, the name, the website, 
and all this information that you want to grab. But in this current form, it's still not that useful to us because like everything is, you know, packed together. It's not split the way that I want it. So to do that, what you have to do is you've got to look for this particular bit. So once you go into Rural Influences, if you want to grab the name, you just right click and inspect that. So it'll show you that this is within a span and that is here. And if you look at this bit here, it tells you that this pan and that is embedded within like an anchor and that is within a div and this is the main div that we have actually scraped. So if you look at it, it's div.pro.influencer-main-data, which is what we have used. So with that, once you're in that, just click on the field that we want. So this case inspect and then right click that and copy that export and if you just paste it into a text editor you'll see that this particular export has like this specific path so since we have already scraped the data from row influences you can skip everything before that so we've got a span a hyperlink or an anchor tag and then we have got the div and the main div that we have just created. So if you look at it from the reverse order you've got a span, an anchor, a div and the main div that we have just scraped. So you can delete everything from the main div that we have actually scraped. So you're left with the actual path within that specific field that you want to split out. So you just copy that now and if you go into this field here, you drop in that X part and you can name this which is the Twitter name and if you click on scrape you'll see that you pull that name here. So since this field is not you know something that we want to have in here we can just go ahead and delete it and hit on scrape again so you've got the list of names that we want now we want to grab the Twitter handle so similarly you look for the Twitter handle right click inspect element so that's this bit here so you can right click that copy as export and put that into the text field or the text editor that you want. Again, if you look at this bit here, it kind of tells you what that path is. So you've got a span and you've got a div and then you've got your main div. So this is the div that you've scraped, the main div that you've scraped. So you've got your span, Div and the main div that you have scraped. So again, delete everything, including the main div that you have scraped, and copy this part and put that into your scrape console window in a new field. So in this new column field, you just add that part, and this is the Twitter handles. So now we've got that. So similarly, if you want to put the website in, it's again inspect. You've got the website here. So right click, copy the export. And you need to strip out the extra bits from here. So again, look at it. You've got an anchor field, a div, another div, and the div that you've scraped. So anchor field, div, div, and the div that you've scraped this here. So delete everything and then you're left with the export that you need. And now you go into script console window, add a new field, paste the path in and give it a name. And there you go. So you've got the Twitter handle or the Twitter name, the Twitter handle and the website. So now you can export this to Google Docs and you've got like 
uh, set of data that you can actually work with. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please go to the blog and leave a comment and I will try and answer those for you. So thanks for watching.